morning. I don't feel nearly as awful as I thought I was going to. I guess that's because I played it smart and stuck with beer and didn't drink any liquor. I had a good time at the bar, but gotta find another way to start meeting people. Because it's too expensive. And, uh, I don't know. I met some good people there. But it's just a one time deal, you know? And I also got drunk. Well, that's a given, but, man. Sang for the camera last night, and I hope I don't put it on YouTube. I always get so full of myself sometimes when I drink. Everybody does, I'm sure. But you get that confidence where you can't go wrong. And uh, Nora got to hang out in the bar all night, which was really cool. She found a tennis ball and had everybody in the bar throwing a tennis ball for her. She ran around the bar. Making friends. They had a pool table and I got to play pool, which I enjoy. Even though, again, I was too many drinks deep and too confident to be making pool shots. Because I thought everything I did was going to be right. Which is definitely not the case when I'm drinking. But anyway, going to find a new way to meet people. Maybe I get back on the campground circuit. As much money as I spent last night in the bar, I could have stayed in four different campgrounds this week. So, Alright, good morning. Welcome to the road. Day 30, 40, I don't know. Well, I actually know it's like month 12. Day 300 something. Laura's got friends over here at the bookstore. Where's your friends at, huh? There it is. There's your buddy. Oh, it was great. Yeah, last night finally cooled off. Well, it didn't. I got to sleep in this morning, too, so. Excellent, excellent. excellent. Felt good. Go ahead and have some water, baby. Lori's got your front door marked. She knows right where yeah, it's at. That's cool. Checked into the Comanche campground in the National Hills Black Forest, just outside of Custer, to get some good rest tonight up here in the pine trees. And I'm pretty excited about tonight's dinner. It is buffalo. There's plenty of buffalo around in South Dakota. They got good buffalo meat in the grocery stores. Pineapple's not so good, but it'll do. And I'm making spaghetti, so. Put some noodles in in a second, and then fry up the meat, add a little prego parmesan, that's dinner. And the weather's been spectacular. I am feeling just status quo today. Get the wind off the fire. Last thing I want to do is dump a boiling pot of hot water on me, so anytime I drop the knife or anything clicks or moves, I turn to grab the pot because it's fell maybe twice over the course of my travels. I don't want it to happen again. It's not fun to spill all your food on your bed inside your van. 
That happened once, and then I spilt it outside once, too. So. Anyways. I feel the videos are getting boring, but I'll keep shooting them. Try to get excited again. Don't want to lose the viewer population on YouTube. I guess. I don't know. Who knows? Laura's got her eye on a bird. The daring little bird. Just teasing her. Really need to get some food in me, and that'll give me a good pickup. Give me a better outlook. I haven't eaten very good today. I had a Dairy Queen hamburger for breakfast, and that was it. I always go out and get junk food after I've drank the night before. I justify it and saying because it feels so good when you have a little bit of a hangover to get some junk food. And anyways, don't have much to tell you right now. Wouldn't she like to catch that bird? I don't know, 4th of July weekend's coming up too, and I'm not sure what to do about that. Come on, Nora. Oh, sorry. Noodles take forever to cook. set out on this road trip and I was so gung-ho and excited and full of just everything was new and easy to film and I was supposed to get that sailboat in Florida and then didn't pan out I could have gotten it I was darn near close but committed to coming back to Albuquerque for a family catch-up and then figure I might as well just wait and get one on the west coast. Plus it'll probably be easier on the west coast. So I'm still trying to get over that. And I was excited to get back on the road because I had such a good time. Coming out to the east coast. I figured I'd have just as great a time going back to the west coast. And it's been a completely different trip going back. Different car. Grown up dog. And uh, a little bit jaded of a a little bit jaded of a road traveler myself now. The excitement's not so much there. It's still been neat though to see some of these places, the landscapes, meet some people. And uh, the country's only. I, Still have to go to Wyoming next month. That's going to be really cool, I think. I'm guessing Wyoming's going to be my kind of state. So. Go for a swim tomorrow. Back up at Lake Silva. It'll wake me up a bit. And, uh. Get out there and find some stuff to film, man. Film, film, film. You can tell. Oh, that's close. Nope, that way. I can't. I have such a hard time holding the camera steady anymore. I don't know. I just. I think I'm getting a little weak. Maybe it's a self-conscious thing.
Whenever I'm cooking, I always think about cooking on a sailboat. Which is one of the... I want fire. Fire, 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 fire. Oh, yeah. Buffalo is my new favorite meat. Say something fancy and dig in. Thank you, Lordy. And for dessert, sir, we have for you the finest in chocolate and peanut butter goodness that money can buy.